Hello and welcome to Swamika Supply and Inventory Template. This tool mainly shows your monthly inventory need and helps on planning your inventory coverage depending on your forecasts. It is constructed by six parts. These are suppliers, master data, planning, planned orders, purchase orders and finally dashboard and reports. When you open the file you'll find two documents. One of them will be blank and the other one will be filled with the dummy data. The dummy data is for you to understand this template much better. Let's carry on with the dummy data. Let's start with suppliers. Type in the properties of, the, of your supplier. Let's say our supplier's name is Lohna Inc. The street address is ABC Street the city is New York. Your, their postcode, their email, and the name of the contact person, and also their phone number. Once you complete this part, if you would like to delete every information you put in, all you have to do is press on the button clear new data to register it please press save once you save it it is going to be uploaded to the data and it is going to be ordered in an alphabetical order if you have already have a supplier data press load suppliers go to your document Copy all the properties and put it as values. Once you're done, save your changes. If you notice you misspelled something, you don't have to press the button load suppliers. Just press edit suppliers and then correct it. Then save the changes. Now we have uploaded our new supplier. Let's carry on with the master data. Now we're going to match the product with the supplier in here. So let's say the product that we're buying is a drink. Our supplier is Lochner Inc. and the name of that product is Cherry Queen. It costs 15 and we're selling at 30 but they have a rule that their minimum order quantity is let's say 50 and here the a option stands for one month of coverage b stands for two and c stands for three months of coverage in this case let's select a once you save your new product matching with your new supplier you also have to put in the forecasts as well if you already have a product data you can also edit master data and forecast go to your document copy it and paste it as values like the like in the previous section. Once you press edit master data and forecasts, you are also able to change the date as well. Once you change the date, the other months will also change accordingly. Now this is our product that we just registered. Let's say the cheesecake forecasts and Cherry Queen forecasts are also same. Also, please press the red arrows to go to the left side of the template easily. So, we copied it and we're pasting as values. Once you enter all the properties of the product, save the changes. You can see your total SKUs from here. So it means that 
we have 41 products. Let's carry on with planning. These are the products you entered in the previous section. You can clearly see the monthly forecasts and planned orders according to the coverage you determine for each single item. If you would like to look for a specific product, click on the cell and choose the item you would like to see. Then press the button which says go and it will directly take you to that product. Let's carry on with the planned orders. To see all of your planned orders in a month, choose the receiving month and then click on all planned orders. Let's say we're looking for October 2019 and now we're able to display all the planned orders on October 2019. To be able to see a single month's planned orders from a single supplier, click on the select supplier part, choose your supplier and then choose your receiving month. However, we don't know actually the planned order of this company, so let's go to planning. So. In here we can clearly see that we will be needing 4,350 units because of covering these months. So we will be needing 4,350 on the month October. October 2019 is already choose. All we have to do is press to get planned orders. Once we do it, we will clearly see the needing of 4,350 units of Cherry Queen and the planned order section. Now here it is. Once you complete this section, to save the purchase order, press the button. If you would like to edit your company data, Click on edit and change the name and address of the company which suits you the best. Let's say New York. You can adjust your company logo from here. Once you take out the logo, you won't be able to see your logo in here. All you have to do is put the image right in this place, adjust your tax rate and once you're done, press save. Now our planned order has been saved. Let's carry on with the purchase orders. You may see all planned orders below even if they are cancelled, received or active. Active means your planned order hasn't been completed yet. To get the planned orders, select your supplier, and click on Confirm Supplier. Once you do that, you'll be able to display the purchase orders. Look at the table. The purchase orders that we'll be needing is 1016 7. So, in this case, it is this. And click on Find Purchase Order. Now we're able to display the purchase order in here. If you would like to edit the quantity of the planned order, press Edit Purchase Order. And now you can edit the quantity. Let's say that your assumptions is actually showing 4,350, but your instincts say that you'll be needing 4,500. So once you edit, save your changes is going to
be uploaded to the system automatically. And now let's say you purchase the goods but you would like to register the system that you received the goods. Press on edit purchase order and then press add goods received. New quantities are going to be added to the inventory, yes. If you would like to delete a purchase order, you have to do the same procedure. Choose a company, confirm supplier, and now find the planned order, edit purchase order, Let's say that you decided not to buy or you had a disagreement with the company and you would like to cancel it. But your system shows that you'll be needing carrot muffin. So all you have to do is delete purchase order by pressing the button. And now the status of the planned order will be deleted. You can see the results in here. On the case of Cherry Queen, now, because of we already bought 4,500 of Cherry Queen, now we don't see it in the planned orders, but we see it in the inventory. And finally, let's carry on with the dashboard and reports. You may check the monthly analysis of the product chosen. All you have to do is select your product, which is Cherry Queen, and Select the chart starting date. Let's make it the earliest date and then update the chart. Once you do that, the graphs change accordingly. If you would like to take a PDF of this section, press the button send to PDF and then save it to your desktop. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.